hello guys thanks for clicking at first I want to mention that this lesson is also available in the other Arabic language uh, in today's lesson I'm going to talk about the work from the viewpoint of physics from the viewpoint of physics because actually the concept of the work in the field of physics is completely different from the concept of the work according to our daily life experiences for example in our daily life if you say uh, that oh, I have a lot of work today this work maybe it's uh, some paperwork if you are a manager or security maybe it's just uh, housework you know doing the do, doing the chores cleaning out doing the dishes or any one of these things why, why in physics when we talk about the work we mean specific things very specific things because actually uh, we mean when we talk about the work in physics, we talk about the effectiveness of the force in moving some objects. Or according to Wikipedia, in physics, a force is said to do work if, when acting, there is a displacement of the point of the application in the direction of the force. To understand these two definitions more deeply, uh, let's look at some examples. So uh, let's review the definition of the force according to Wikipedia. In physics, a force is said to do work if, when acting, there is displacement of the point of the application in the direction of the force. When there is displacement of the, of the point of the, of the application of the force. So, let's look at this example. Here we have a guy who push uh, his car or his truck from initial position to final one. Now, let me ask you, where is the point of the application of the force? Yeah, exactly. Is it on the truck? It's here and here. Now, when we say that the truck is moved from initial position to final one, this is equivalent that to the, the point of application of the force is moved from initial position to final position. And in this way, we have a displacement of the point of the application of the force in the direction of the force. And in this case, we can say that the force does work. Okay, so uh, okay, so let's look at another example. We have here an eraser, and we apply external force by hand on this eraser. If the magnitude, if the magnitude of uh, our force is large enough, then the eraser will move along this tray. And uh, again, the application, uh, the point of the application of the force is here on the eraser. And if the eraser moved from uh, one position to another one then there is displacement of the point of the application of the force and in this case we say we can say that there is done work and the same thing for the third and the fourth example now let's back to the example of the eraser and let's look to these two cases we have this case here the previous one and we have a new case here and let me ask you what do you think what the difference between two uh, to, uh, between these two cases what the difference between them yes exactly in this case there is no motion there is no displacement and displacement of this eraser whatever the magnitude of the force there is no displacement there is no motion of the eraser at all while in this case if the magnitude of the force is large enough then we can have a motion or displacement of the eraser and uh, of course a displacement of the point of the application of the force so according to the definition of the work we can see that we can say that in this case we have no work while in this case we have done work okay and if we want to say or to summarize that we can say that when the force you can, you can see here that the displacement is a horizontal one while the force is vertical one so we can conclude that when the force is perpendicular on the displacement there is no work or the force doesn't do any work so in the first in the first example we have work while in the second one we don't have work now we can look, we can look at this example and we can understand from this example another important things actually it's obvious that when we talk about the work when we want to talk about the effectiveness of the force in moving some objects we need to talk about the force and the magnitude of the force it's so important things so we need to take it into account when we want to talk about the work 
but from the previous example we've seen that actually it's not enough to talk about the magnitude of that force because in this case whatever the magnitude of the force there is no work at all so what we need look at this what the difference between these cases it actually it's the direction of the force with respect to the displacement in this case the uh, the force make uh, 90 degree angle with the displacement why in this case is make another angle with the displacement so to be accurate now if we if you want to talk or if you want to describe the work the downward you need to talk the work you need to the force you need to talk to take the magnitude of the force into account but it's not enough also you need to take the direction of the force with respect or with respect to the uh, to the displacement or in other words you should to deal the force as vector quantity now let's look at another example we have here a guy who pushed his car from the start sign to uh, final sign by take through the distance or displacement d1 and in another example we have the same guy and the same uh, car so uh, we will suppose that we have the same magnitude of the force and the guy he pushed the car uh, at the same direction from the start sign to finish sign but in this case he passed through uh, he passed through a distance d2 which is obvious larger than the distance d1 now if i asked you where what do you think where is the uh, work is larger in the first case or in the second one i'm sure that all of us will say it's obvious that the work in the second case is larger than the work in the first case and if I ask you why I'm sure you will say it's obvious man that it's in the second case it's um, the, the force uh, moved the car or or the point of the application of the force is moved longer distance from the first case so it's obvious that the done work it's larger than the first one and actually that's right from this we can conclude that when we want to talk about the work when we want to, do, to describe a work the effectiveness of the force in moving some objects we need to take into account the first the magnitude and the direction of the first or the force as vector quantity and also we need to take the displacement i'm sorry heat the the correct terminology displacement it's not just a mistake the displacement and we need also to take the magnitude of this, this displacement and the direction of the displacement now why we need to take the, the direction of the displacement because as we've seen we we need to take the direction of the force actually the relative direction of the force with respect to the displacement and this is equal equivalent talking about the direction of the displacement with respect to the direction of the force now from this uh, conversation we can conclude that we can that the work is given by the law force multiplied by distance or displacement the magnitude of displacement actually this law is correct just in uh, specific cases it's not uh, it's not right in all cases it doesn't work out uh, for all cases to see why let's look at this example this is a general case where we have a force and this force make an angle with the displacement so this case is different from this case where the force is uh, parallel to the displacement uh, maybe I, I missed to say that uh, this work is where this law is work out is work out in a correct way for the situation where the force is parallel to the displacement while for other cases it's not it's not correct like in this uh, situation where the force make an angle theta with the displacement now let me ask you what the difference what do you think the, dif the difference between these cases where the force make an angle theta with the displacement and the case where uh, the force is parallel to the displacement I recommend to stop this video to think a little bit about the answer then uh, then turn on the video and listen to the right one okay uh, always when I ask this question to my student he say that in this case some part or uh, some part of the force 
is spent to uh, to raise up or to pull up this truck to move this truck upward and other part of this word is spent to move this truck along the displacement or in other words we can say that the force in this case has two components one of them is along the axis the vertical axis on the displacement and the other components is on the axis of the displacement and as we have seen in the example of the eraser when the force is perpendicular to the displacement there is no work there is no the work and at the same um, at the same manner we can conclude that the component of the force which is perpendicular to the displacement doesn't do any work and just the component of the force along the axis of the displacement uh, does work so if you if we want to calculate the done work in this case we need to talk just the component of the words of the force uh, along the axis of the displacement which is given according to the mathematical rules by fx equal to f multiplied by cosine theta and in this case the work will be given by f multiplied by d multiplied by cosine theta where f is the magnitude of the force d is the magnitude of the displacement and theta is the angle between the force the vector of the force and the displacement now this law is the general one this law cover all cases a cover actually the case where the force is perpendicular to the eraser and uh, the case where the force is parallel to the displacement to see that let's look at this two example in this in this uh, case we have an force which is perpendicular to the displacement and uh, it's obvious that the angle between the force and the displacement equal to 90 degree and as you know cosine 90 degree equal to zero if we substitute that in this law we can find that the w equal to zero joule and if we back to the uh, example where the force is parallel to the displacement uh, that's mean the angle between the force and the displacement equal to zero and as you know cosine zero equal to one if we substitute that here we will cover the law w equal to fd so the, uh, this is gen the general uh, law which is uh, works out uh, for all cases uh, when we want to talk the for the work uh, be careful the work done by constant force in the part two of this research we will talk about the work done by varying force and that's another story and different story so please keep your mind maybe i'll miss this to tell you that from uh, the first of this video uh, we all we, we talk just uh, about the work done by constant force okay now let's uh, let's uh, define the work mathematically uh, the work w done on system by engine by agent exerting a constant force on system is the product of the magnitude f of the force the magnitude d of the displacement of the point of the application of the force and cosine theta where theta is the angle between the force and displacement vectors so w equal to f multiplied by d multiplied by cosine theta here we have an numerical example uh, in the in the first one we have a uh, force exerted exerts on uh, this plug the magnet the magnitude of the force equal to 10 Newton uh, and it display the display the magnitude of the displacement equal to 5 meters and the angle between the vector of the force and the displacement equal to 60 degree in the second one we have the same magnitude of the force the same magnitude of the displacement and the only difference that the only difference between two cases is that in the second one the angle between the force and the displacement is larger la, larger than 90 and uh, while in the first case the angle between the force and displacement is smaller than 90 please stop the video uh, make the calculation then compare your uh, results with the right one now after calculation it's numerical example it's direct example just by direct substitution of the values of the magnitude of the force and magnitude of the displacement and the cosine theta we can find that in the first case we have the the value of the work equal to 25 joule while in the second one the, the value of the work equal to minus 25 joule 
Uh, we'll back to the meaning of the minus sign and the positive sign of the work in the part four of the series, uh, which is related actually to the transfer energy between the system and the environment of the system. We'll back to that anyway. But for for now, just keep in your mind that uh, where where actually where uh, where the uh, work has a positive sign and where is it uh, where it is has where it has uh, minus sign. It's obvious that when the angle between the force and displacement is smaller than the 90, the work is positive. Or in other words, when the component of the force onto the displacement is in the direction of the displacement, in this case we have a positive work. While when the angle of between the force and the displacement is larger than the 90, in this case we have uh, negative uh, work. Or in other words, we can say when the uh, component of the force onto the axis of the displacement is in the direction opposite to the uh, displacement, we have a negative work. So sign of work. The sign of work depends on the direction of F relative to V. The work done by uh, the applied force is positive when the projection of F onto D is in the same direction as the displacement. While when the projection of F onto D is in the direction opposite the displacement, the work is negative one. Uh, here we have another direct example, Mr. Clean, where we have a man cleaning a floor, pulls a vacuum cleaner with a force of magnitude F equal to 50 Newton, at angle 30 degree between with the horizontal and the displacement of it's clear it's clear that the displacement of this uh, vacuum cleaner is uh, on is on the horizontal or is horizontal sorry uh, the question is calculate the work done by the force on the vacuum cleaner as the vacuum cleaner is displaced by three meters to the right then calculate the work done by the gravitational and normal force also please stop this video make your calculation then compare your answer with the right one Okay, so after direct substitution of the magnitude of the force and magnitude of the displacement and the angle between the force and displacement, we can find that W equal to uh, 130 Joule. Now for the uh, normal and gravitational force, it's obvious that both of them is perpendicular to the displacement and the angle between uh, each one of them with the displacement equal to 90 degree and as we've seen cosine 90 degree equal to zero and the work done in this case equal to zero who's working more the well lifter we have in the, uh, the left figure we have a well lifter holds the weights on his shoulders for quite some time while in the right one we have uh, this teeny tiny and we, we, or you know uh, is carrying his food and move them of course according to our, to our daily life experiences that we will say that oh, it's obvious that the weight lifter uh, does more work this uh, uh, this end. But uh, in the field of physics, it's the answer is completely different because it's obvious that the weight lifter holds the way are raised. There is no displacement of this waist. There is no displacement. Of the point of the application of he, of uh, its force, so in this case he doesn't do any work, while uh, while the ant, which carrying this small amount of food, if move he, he, he move it he move them, and uh, that means the point of the application of its force is moved or displaced, and in this case we have work done, even its. Uh, even though it's so small value but at the end it's larger than the zero so who's working more of course in this case or in the field of physics is the ant uh, let's do, let's see about this quick quiz figure 74 this is the figure here uh, show four situations in which force is applied to the an object in all four cases, the force had the same magnitude, and the displacement of the object is to right, 
and of the same magnitude. So in these four cases, we have the same magnitude of the force and the same magnitude of the displacement and the displacement is to right in both cases, is to right. Rank the situation in order to work done by force on the object from mass positive to the mass negative. It's the same advice, please stop this video and rank these situations then compare your answer with the right one now uh, if we want to rank these situations from mass positive to mass negative uh, it's good to know that the, we have here the, the same magnitude of the force and the same magnitude of the displacement so the only things we defer, we'll, uh, the only things which will differ between these cases is the angle between the force and the displacement so if you want to rank the situation from the mass positive to a mass negative one we need to uh, rank these situations according to the uh, value of cosine theta from the mass negative from I'm sorry from the mass positive to the mass negative one you know that the uh, maximum value of cosine theta is equal to plus one while the, the minimum uh, value of the cosine theta equal to minus one so let's look at this example it's obvious that in this case where f is equal to um, where f is uh, parallel to the displacement that means the angle between the force and the displacement equal to zero and as you know cosine zero equal to one and one is the maximum value of the uh, the work that mean the kc is the most positive one so i put it here now let's look at the case B and D both of them the force in an opposite direction of the displacement so both of them is negative while the, the case A the force is perpendicular to that displacement and that means the down work is equal to zero and zero is more positive than negative one so the second one is the case A now let's compare between the the case D and case B. In the case B, the uh, the angle between the force and displacement equal to 180 degree, and you know cosine 180 degree equal to minus one, and minus one is the minimum value of the cosine theta. It's the mass negative value. So, the mass negative value of the work is B. Now, in the case D, it's also it's negative, but it's it's, more, it's larger than the minus one cosine theta is larger than the minus one okay so if we want to arrange that we'll put d and our final we we'll put b so, so this is the right range c a d b uh, now let's look at the final uh, question in this uh, part of the, the series a quick quiz the gravitational force exerted by sun on the earth hold the earth in an orbit around the sun let's assume that the orbit is perfectly circular the work done by this gravitational force during a short time interval please uh, pay attention on the short time interval in which the earth moves through displacement in its path now if we want to talk about during short time interval that's mean we talk about the short displacement okay and uh, the question is uh, this work it is uh, is it zero or positive negative or impossible to determine i'll give you a hint to uh, help you to this to solve this quick quiz uh, draw the circular path of the earth around the sun then draw a short distance a short displacement uh, anywhere on this circular path then draw the uh, force uh, uh, acting on the earth by the sun and you can solve it as usual please stop this video and try to uh, to find your own answer okay so now this is the circular path of the earth around the sun and let's assume that this is the sun this is a short displacement d it's so short you can say that it's we cannot you can write it as a circular one and this is the uh, force 
acting on the earth by the sun it's obvious that or let me ask you what the, the angle between the displacement and the force in this case yeah exactly it's obvious it's equal to 90 degree and cosine 90 degree equal to zero so the work done in this case equal to zero and this is not special about this uh, area or this position around on, on the circular but it's it's general one if we look at another uh, path or another displacement like here we can also see that the angle between the force and displacement equal to 90 degree and cosine theta equal to zero and in this case the work done equal to zero joule i'll stop here uh, for this part and in the second part oh sorry uh, I just I would say that work is scalar quantity and uh, the unit of the work is Newton multiplied by meter because it's you know force multiplied by this uh, displacement multiplied cosine theta cosine theta is dimensionless one so Newton per uh, multiplied by meter and this is frequently um, has a name joule so the unit of the work in the SI units is Joule. Uh, in the second part of this series, I'm going to talk about the work done by varying force. Uh, if you are a secondary stu student at secondary level, uh, you can uh, you can uh, exceed this uh, the the part two and uh, jump directly to the part three where I'll give some uh, qu quick quiz and some multiple choices questions about the work and it's so benefit for you so helpful and uh, useful for your understanding of your exams and tests uh, and in the four in the part four I talking I'm talking about the relation between the work and the transfer energy but for now this is enough thank you for listening uh, I hope that that was helpful and useful for you and uh, i hope to uh, i hope meet you in another video